In the first part of the series, Danielle's dad, Dustin Khan, joined YouTube to expose Danielle's real age. Danielle Khan and her brother, Chad Archambault, shared their tough childhood with Dustin and avoided speaking on Danielle's age. Since then, Danielle's stepmother, Heather, has revealed more shocking information about Danielle, Dustin responds to the drama, and old messages from Mikey are exposed. Welcome to part two of this series on the feud between Danielle and her family members. Please do not send any hate to Danielle Kahn, Jennifer Archambault, Dustin Kahn, Heather, or anyone else mentioned in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. On June 19th, Danielle's stepmom, Heather, shared several Instagram stories about the situation. She shared a few quotes about becoming a villain and the universe being cruel. Heather said there's a lot more she didn't share for Danielle and Jennifer's sake. She further explained, There are multiple influencers that know of way worse things going on right now than what Dustin supposedly did years ago. There are way worse things past and present. I could show you, but honestly, an eye for an eye makes everyone blind. We refuse to make this a nastier situation. Heather said she's received harassing text messages for a year over things she did not do. She said she reached out to Danielle separately and hopes she will speak the truth one day. Heather acknowledged Dustin's behavior in the past and said he will always be there for his kids. Listen, we don't deny Dustin has not always made the best decisions in the past. Who has? But do I think he abused anyone? No. Regardless, he has always been there for his kids, except when they were kept from him. Heather said she hopes this is a wake-up call for social media to help child influencers. I know there's a lesson in all this. Maybe Instagram and YouTube will finally wake up and change their guidelines for kids. Maybe CPS or the LA Police Department will wake up and notice they're letting too many child influencers slip through the cracks. Heather said she will be deleting her Instagram account, and she and Dustin may delete all their receipts when they see fit. Heather reminded everyone that this drama is not about Dustin, but Danielle's safety and well-being. Some of you may have changed your opinion based on lies, but no, this was never about Dustin. It was about the exploitation and horrible pictures of Danielle going on right now at 14. Heather commented on Danielle and Mikey's relationship. Despite the inappropriate age gap and it just being inappropriate altogether, I do believe Mikey cares for Danielle from the time we talked. I hope he protects her and himself and he stands up for what's right on the daily. I hope this doesn't change his life for the worse, legally and otherwise. Heather spoke about Danielle's lifestyle. The real tragedy here is that the system has failed this girl, not from Dustin, that lies cover up the real horror, that money is the only thing that's important, that taking pictures in front of cool places is better than actually experiencing them. Heather made some shocking claims about Danielle. So many have turned a blind eye because it's making them bank, thongs, a boy and tattoos at 14. It's not right, but for now, we've got to let it go. For context, there have been rumors and theories about Danielle having a Danielle got a tattoo of angel wings and the date January 28th, 2020. On January 28th, Danielle posted a cryptic tweet that read, I am in so much pain. Thank you to the people who have checked on me. Danielle also went on Instagram and spoke about getting a medical procedure, which people believe was an abortion. Just went through something very hard that I don't really want to talk about because I don't like talking about my like really really personal life on camera or you know i had to get some like medical things done a lot of people don't know what i'm going through <laughs> like i'm actually like going through like my own medical things right now so that kind of sucks um I'm, I'm not really like allowed to say so it seems heather is hinting that these abortion theories may be true on June 22nd, Dustin posted a video titled, The Truth Will Set You Free. Dustin gave a suggestion of how to move forward from this. To end the debate, I don't mind meeting at the courthouse or police station with you, and we scan your and my copy of the birth certificate together with the whole family and film it. It's time to let the truth come to light. This was never about me, my past, or made-up stories. If I was that bad of a dad, I wouldn't have the custody I was granted and I'm supposed to have. I was attacked over trying to say your true age and keep you safe. Throughout the video, Dustin shared old photographs with Danielle and Chad.
In the description box, Dustin also wrote, The last message I want to get across, Danielle, is remember I was there your life until I was no longer given the time to be. My parents were there for you too. Here are some memories in this video. Goodbye. Sincerely, your concerned father. Dustin also included a message from Danielle's stepmom, Heather. Danny, I hope one day you're able to speak up about the truth about everything. I hope one day you're able to have a birthday where the candles on your cake match. I hope one day you can become the vet or makeup artist or create the makeup line you really want to be. I hope someone else buys you a darn hairbrush so all three of us don't have to share one, haha. I hope you get another good friend like Jazzy. I hope one day you really understand all this. I hope someone else teaches you to stop and smell the roses sometimes and you actually get to experience life. I hope you stand up for yourself. I hope. As all of this drama was happening, old DMs from Mikey were shared by an Instagram account known as Corn on the Con. The account is run by someone named Maggie, and she was trying to reveal the truth about Danielle and her family. Maggie's account was wrongfully taken down for impersonation after gaining 20,000 followers. During this recent drama, Maggie came back as Corn on the Con real and decided to add to the conversation. She clarified that she would never fake evidence or post a photoshopped photo. She revealed why she took a long break from Instagram and why she came back with receipts. I took a long break from Corn on the Con after being harassed by Jen, Chad, Danny, her fans, and some of her friends. I don't plan on coming back, but I wanted to put this information out there. In the DMs, Mikey claims that Danielle would get by Jennifer and explained why he said, say hi to Florida but I was saying the cause when I had them if I sent them to CPS, she would have went back with her dad. In other words, if the police saw the videos of Jennifer allegedly beating Danielle, she would be sent to live with her dad in Florida. Maggie asked why Jen was allegedly hitting Danielle. Mikey explained, If she didn't do content sometimes, she would. But Danny low-key has an attitude, you know. So like, that's another reason. Because of her attitude. Mikey said one time Danielle called him crying because Jennifer hit her. Mikey said he had video evidence of Danielle admitting her age. However, he can no longer access his phone because his phone carrier locked it after Jennifer reported the phone as stolen. Maggie explained this was possible because the phone Mikey used to take those videos was an iPhone that Jen bought him while she was hiding Mikey from his parents. His parents then confiscated his phone to keep him from communicating with Danny, and in that time, Jen wiped the data on the phone because it was her iCloud account. When Mikey's family went to get the videos from the phone, they were gone. Mikey said he had video evidence of Jennifer and Danielle, but his phone is now locked. Maggie suggested getting the police to unlock it. Mikey said he had already tried. Maggie also shared audio messages she had with Mikey. During their breakup last year, you may remember Mikey fighting with his parents because he asked to get emancipated. In an audio message, Mikey revealed that Danielle was the one who allegedly asked him to get emancipated or else they would have to break up. Maggie also shared many old videos of Jennifer seemingly controlling Danielle or behaving inappropriately. In a video from May 2019, Jennifer was telling Danielle what to say in a live stream. Thank you! They have no makeup on them right now. But thank you. Whatever you want, on demand. What is your favorite artist? Honestly, I don't really know. I like so many different people. Say Victoria, Victoria. My mom's mad. Hi, hi, Lena. In another video, Jennifer tells Danielle what content works on her channel. YouTube videos, do you think that I should um, film at Disney, guys? A vlog? A Disney vlog? No, those don't do well on your channel. What if she did it? Yeah, but tell them to give me some ideas. We're creating cute Disney pictures. Oh, that's cute. Maybe like an IG, like. Prank Mikey, you are pregnant. <gasps> that's a good one. Hopefully, he's not on this. I'm gonna say, though, like, 
that I'm okay, pregnant but... with another boy. Because you guys haven't done that, right? Yeah. In the same video, Danielle speaks about wanting to get into makeup, but Jennifer makes a shocking statement. Beauty hacks. I don't know, people don't really like beauty things on my channel for Why some reason. I've tried so many times because it's really something that I would be interested in doing, but people just don't like it. They like the drama on your page. In another video, Jennifer openly talks about controlling Danielle. Guess what? You still have three years until you're 18. I can control you for three more. Oh. In another video, Jennifer is forcefully filming Danielle and Mikey for content while it looks like they are trying to relax. One, two, three, go. Stop! In another video, Jennifer makes a shocking comment about Danielle's body. Danny, show them your your body so they can be quiet. In another video, Jennifer tells Danielle to make content with Mikey. Get Mikey in the live and dance. In an interview, Jennifer revealed Danielle's heavy work schedule. How much downtime does Danielle get? Not much. She shouldn't get weekends off or she works Monday to Sunday. Yeah. It's a lot of, it's a lot of work. Danielle says she feels the pressure from her career. Do you feel I pressure to carry on to maintain this life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna have to live with this for my whole life. Does that feel like a lot? Yeah, sometimes. In a video from March 2017, Jennifer tells Danielle she can't get off a live stream. Can I get off and eat in the No. Why? Why do I have to eat in front of them? That's disgusting. It's not disgusting. In a YouTube video, Danielle spoke very differently about her dad. I honestly, like, I, like my dad, like, is not even, like, a bad person. Like, there's been, like, sometimes where, like, people, like, will think that I think my dad is a bad person. But, like, he's not a bad person. Like, my parents just didn't really get along. Maggie suggested that Jennifer was trying to alienate Danielle from her father by bad-mouthing Dustin in front of Danielle. She shared another video of Jennifer saying Dustin doesn't want Danielle. And as far as people saying that she needs to live with her dad, her dad doesn't want her like that. I want her. This is my baby. In another video, Jennifer laughed at a comment about Dustin being dead and made a shocking comment. Your dad died. Stop lying. You wouldn't be on here if he didn't die. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Maggie seemed to suggest Chad was also a victim of parental alienation because he made contradictory statements about Dustin. Yes, we had, we had lived in his house. But not once did he come to any one of our football games, Danny's cheer games, one of her pageants. He never supported her, nor did he care to. While this is a very good theory, it's also possible that Danielle and Chad are talking poorly about Dustin because they want to continue to hide Danielle's age. That seems to be the end of the situation for now. So, what's the big issue? How a tough childhood can have negative consequences on the child, and the reality of parents trying to control their child. If what Danielle and Chad say are true, then they really did have a tough childhood. According to them, their parents were always arguing, and Dustin broke household objects out of anger. According to Dustin, both sides of the family were drinking alcohol, meaning Danielle and Chad were exposed to alcohol very often in their childhood. Another big thing was the way Danielle was criticized for her choice of clothing. Instead of proper communication, such as asking Danielle to change her clothes, she was verbally attacked, getting called a by her dad and grandmother. According to Dr. David Stack, trauma experienced in childhood has a special ability to wound. The fallout echoes through the years and causes negative consequences, such as higher risks of depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, PTSD, obesity, behavioral problems, and health problems such as heart disease. It's unclear if Danielle is experiencing any of these consequences, but she did say her childhood scarred her. As we've seen in Dustin's YouTube videos, he wants Danielle to dress and act appropriately for her age, which may come off as controlling. While Dustin may have good intentions to protect Danielle from predators, it seems Danielle doesn't want to be told how to live her life. Liz Mathias, a clinical psychologist, reminds parents that it's not about the power struggle. Parenting is not about control, but rather setting expectations and standards, listening, understanding how your child is different from you, and making sure that you are not bringing your past into the present. 
present. Liz explains parents have to know when to take a step back. Parenting is a wave that comes in with power and leaves with a quietness. It's a dance of knowing when to intervene, when to let your child struggle, when to coach, and when to watch from the distance as your child figures it out. It's not easy. This advice is easier said than done. Danielle has been in a lot of drama in the past year, and Dustin has finally decided to intervene to protect her. For context, here were some of the major things that happened in 2019. Mikey's parents found out Danielle's real age and forced them to break up. Normal videos of Danielle were being shared on adult sites that featured predatory comments about her. Heather was the one who went to the police station to get the links taken down. And now, in 2020, Danielle is back together with Mikey Tua, who recently turned 18 years old. The couple can date, but if they engage in adult activity or watch adult content together, Mikey can go to jail. Furthermore, it's normal for Dustin to be worried that Mikey, a legal adult, may expose or influence Danielle into this adult lifestyle. We also found out from Heather that Danielle allegedly got an abortion meaning Danielle was already exposed to adult activity. So you can see, it's normal for Dustin to want to protect Danielle by speaking the truth about Danielle's age. Overall, this is a messy situation that goes far back to Danielle's childhood. While we don't know the full story or which details are true or not, it seems Danielle was scarred by her childhood. As for Dustin, parenting is hard, especially when Jennifer isn't respecting their parenting arrangements. Do you think Dustin is doing the right thing? What did you think of Danielle exposing her dad? Let me know in the comments below.